primetime news this evening denied. Supreme Court judge rejects application for release of Vibes Cartel and his co-accused. For the first time in history, a U.S. president is convicted. And JLP senator to renounce British citizenship. Good evening and welcome to Primetime News on air and online at OneSpotMedia.com. I'm Archibald Gordon. And a special welcome to our viewers on TVJ International in the Cayman Islands. I'm Janella Precious and with a preview of what's to come in business news, here's Javon Keys. Well, Janella, I'll have some news from the mining and quarrying industry. That sector is estimated to increase or grow in the first quarters. I'll have those details as well as the latest from Dollar Financial in their unaudited financial statement published on the JSC. And we want to check out what's coming up in primetime sports this evening. Jeremy and Brown has the lowdown. Well, thanks, Archie. Well, Jamaica's athletes didn't shine too brightly at the Oslo Diamond League meet in Norway today. But there was one winner. And the West Indies, they're facing Australia currently, or rather presently, in their only warm-up match ahead of the ICC T20 World Cup, which begins this weekend. We'll tell you more about these and others a bit later on. I feel like the weather is a little bipolar. It's rain over there, sunshine over there, but guess what? It is the still hot. The weatherman is not bipolar. Yeah, I know, but it's still hot. Okay. Anyway, Romain, what's coming up in the weather report? Thanks, Janela. We're continuing to see mostly cloudy conditions cover most of the island, especially in the afternoons. Much of the shower activity is still concentrated across sections of northern and southwestern parishes, but I'll have a breakdown of more in the weather report and forecast. Thank you, Romain. There's also sports commentary E-Prime, and as you heard, weather in this newscast, but before the break, the feedback question. And this evening, we are asking... Uh, what's your reaction to news that former U.S. President Donald Trump has been found guilty on 34 counts of falsifying business records. You can share comments online, facebook.com slash television Jamaica and on X at TVJ News Center. Stay with us, the news in detail, after the break. <laughs> 